Hello, it's Thursday the 22nd of October and for my breakfast this morning I've got a simple breakfast. I've got scrambled eggs which are free in protein, cherry tomatoes which are speed, mushrooms which are also speed and a coffee using some of my healthy extra A milk. For a quick lunch today, I'm going out for a meal tonight so I needed something to be quick and easy and still on plan. So I've got for my healthy extra B a pita bread which I've made into a pita pizza. So I've just got some tomato puree, my healthy extra allowance of the cheddar which is 30 grams and a little bit of ham on the top. I've got a boiled egg which is free in protein, sweet corn which is free and pickled ger ger gherkins which are speed. So my dinner is completely free and on plan today. For my tea tonight we have come out for a meal and it is in celebration of my friend's 50th birthday. She's going to be turning 50 over the full lockdown and her husband, bless him, they'd prepared loads of things to be happening in their garden but obviously that can't happen now so we've come out tonight because obviously full lockdown tomorrow so I have not stuck to my plan or stuck to plan I should say I've gone for the smothered chicken burger and some chips and some coleslaw so it's going to be unknown sins because I don't know how many sins it is and then for dessert or for snacks this evening I should say I have got a little piece of chocolate cake. It's not a huge piece. It is a small piece. You could probably tell how little it is next to my... Can you? I don't know. Anyway, it's not very big. It's one of those tiny cakes, but still unknown sins. So as you can see, I've entered today on unknown sins. I am oh, I'm in agony at the moment with the tooth ache. And I really need to ring the dentist tomorrow. So it didn't actually stop me from eating, though, did it? Let's be honest. Um... I'm hoping that it's not going to make that big a difference because I've been 100% on plan all week this week and well except for today obviously and with everything that's happened we are now going to switch back to what we were doing over lockdown before so I'm going to be weigh in tomorrow which is a day earlier so I thought about it and I think what I'm going to do generally on my scales I weigh a pound heavier than I do in in group but what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to dress as I normally would to weigh. Um, I tend to stick to the same clothes just because I like to know that I'm, even in the summer, even in the winter, I'm wearing summer clothes. But that's fine. So I'm going to stick to what I would normally wear to weigh in so I know that I'm getting kind of a true reading, even though I know I'm a little bit heavier on my scales. Um, because then I'll benefit from it when I go back, won't I? Rather than weigh in in my night clothes here I'm just thinking out loud now and then when I come back to going when I come to going back to group it's not going to be a true reading it isn't anyway because it's my own scales uh, we're all in the same position so tomorrow is my weigh day now and then I get it sent off to my consultant and then we have image therapy on Saturday morning which I have to be honest since coming out of lockdown and going back to my slimming world group I haven't done any of the image therapy sessions because my group is on a Saturday morning and the image therapy is a Saturday afternoon I generally find that with working and things a Saturday afternoon is kind of the time that we're out and about and doing things so it'll be on a Saturday morning again which I'm really looking forward to because I haven't had any image therapy sessions at all so that is a good thing about this is there any good things about it but that's that's a plus for me so yeah so I'm looking forward to that and that's it way in a day early I'm hoping like I say that it won't make too much difference because I stuck to plan 100% except for today well not even today tonight it's just been that one meal off plan and I think that if you're if you're sticking to it throughout the week then one meal off plan shouldn't make that much difference she says so thank you so much for watching. As I said, I'm ending today on Unknown Sins and I will see you in the next one.